mid or their carry yet. Here it comes. Then. Um, I see. You. I think something the the anti mage mentioned definitely warrants maybe consideration not going for another hero that AM's going to counter because already AM for EG is great against all three of these heroes. But this is going to be either Rezo or Weha's hero coming out. This is, this is crazy though. It's a like team fight versus team fight right now. We could get some very chaotic. We could casting. get some very chaotic fights. This is oh, that's a change for Rezo. He's been he played this a lot in the past. Okay, think out loud for us, Falk. Think out loud for us. Lycan. It's a good vision hero. Mm-hmm. Good vision hero. Very strong with Darks here. You can abuse the uh, Ion Shell Wolves to punish the supports pretty hard. Remaining. Pretty good with the team fight aspect too. The Howl at nighttime is crazy. And also maybe well they're not gonna pick Night Stork, I guess, unless it's an offlaner now with Kunkka, but Still, uh, here that is going to be tough to deal with. One hundred percent win rate. Five games, okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty much gotten like every game that I saw him play like in recently. He's got like rushed a Midas, gotten it within like the first six or seven minutes of the game, and then he really just his farm is unbelievable just on that hero. Fat. Yeah, fat wolf. Bristle back. There's bristle. We've been waiting for it to crop up. It's a hero that's not afraid of Lycan. He's he runs at you. You just turn your back. Starts. Spraying quills around, and he does not do much damage against the the Vanguard Solar Crest build. Natural Halberd builder as well, which Lycan, I mean, suffers very heavily. Five seconds remaining. Okay, the final bands is time for them to come in. And the problem with Bristleback sometimes is not having is like lack of catch, but EG is not worrying about that at all. They've Kunkka Puck, Crystal Maiden, three incredibly good heroes are just holding somebody down for a Bristle to just get on top of them. Do you guys feel like we're going to be seeing the puck in the offline or the, the mid this time around? I think this time it's a mid, right? But uh, Actually, we don't know yet, right? This could be a safe lane bristleback still. Is that likely? Yeah. We yeah. did a decent amount. Vanguard solo crest? Yeah, the Vanguard solo. I think it's most likely safe lane bristle, but I think I the think puck so is the question mark more. Yeah. Because okay. they could, and they, they have to pick before Planet Odd, but they need to decide whether puck is going to be for universe or female. Universe on it already. In fact, last game didn't do a whole lot, finishing four kills, five deaths. I mean, perhaps they just pick a shaker and then you can decide when you see the last pick, have like a shaker plus puck. <laughs> <laughs> Worked for them last time. Remaining. Wow. Radiant team. I mean, they have so much. They have so much different potential. Like this. I mean, the, we we keep saying that the bristle could be safe lane, but it could even be mid, right? I mean, I don't think yeah. AG's ever done it before, but it's it's not something to throw completely out the window just yet. It's more than likely safe lane, though. But and Planet Odd, Planet Odd also thinks it's a safe lane. They're banning out Tinker, expecting another mid hero to come out for EG. Remaining. Cool. We do have one last opportunity to hamstring Planet Odd before the gameplay does start. What's the Weeha hero? Did he play in the first game? So, does it TA? TA was. TA yeah. and, and Quop we've seen yeah. so far. Back to Quop, maybe? Quop yeah. I mean, this, maybe that's this discussion that EG I, are having. But then he might get rolled in mid again. Hmm. Would this ban in any way indicate where that puck's going as well? Just because you'd see whether or not they wanted to put it in, in Samael's hands versus Weeha. It definitely, I mean, it could. If there's a hero you're worried about puck bursting, like you won't, but like that's is, why the, it, is the argument that there isn't that much. I think puck is pretty yeah, decent pretty in most matchups. Yeah, yeah, very safe. The thing about the puck also with like if there's an Earth Spirit mid or Earth Spirit rolling in, if the puck is mid, he's able to be pretty elusive toward those ganks. I mean, they just have. A lot of different variety they can still do. I think Planet would really need some, some burst damage here. Like a Lena or a Quop seem mm -hmm. like the two main choices just because like they, they have this catch with a disruptor, they have this kind of team fight wombo combo, but the actual damage output is a bit lacking. They can't still can't deal with Bristle. They have no Silver Edge Carrier, no like L C or X yeah. to face him. So if Bristle is safe lane and gets large, it doesn't seem like there's that much that can stop them, especially if it goes Vanguard. Lycan can't do anything versus that. They have to be almost out of time here, unless the game is like paused up, right? Okay, so they do ban up the OD. Oh, yeah. OD versus the Bristol is nice. Ooh, that was a quick Whoa. one. Whew. Oh, puck mid, Bristol safe, Enigma yeah. offlane. That's a lot of team fight I'm seeing, and it's a mech carrier as well for the Enigma, more than likely. Or it's possible that he can go for a mech so they can have that kind of like timing window as well. 
Is this just going to be a battle of the team fights then? Yep. There's oh. no way to cancel BKB Black Hole. Are there any mids that can do so? Remaining. Uh, I think so. Mm, mm -mm. Invoker. They go for the Invoker. Ooh. Saying scaling, late game, but it's not not gonna be easy for him. I guess hard lane. I think you yeah, There's an Earth Spirit that can come in, but Puck yeah. doesn't really worry too much about that. It can be a little bit of a nuisance, but ooh. Yeah, do you, anyone want to kind of uh, go first, put their toe over the line and call this series? Sure. I'll go with EG. I don't think they have a good counter to Bristol, Pine and Odd. Do yeah. not. Mm -hmm. And I think he's going to get farm and get big enough to where I'm they gonna, can't stop him. I'm going right. to side with Ben again. I'm back, <laughs> back on the EG camp as well. Yeah. Oh, all three of us. <laughs> nice. Okay, believing in the geniuses. Just yeah. a blip on the radar then as we, got, as we got to three. At least that's what our panel thinks. But we know that our caster duo, they are the best of friends and the worst of enemies as well. It's none other than LD and Winter to guide you through the final game. Oh, God. Winter. Hi, Hi enemy. Hi. How are you? You wanted a Dragon Knight. You wanted a Silver Edge Carrier for mid, and it was not provided. How I mean, do you feel about the Wee Voker coming out from Beyond the Grave? Haven't seen this in a while. I play Bristol back a lot, not gonna lie. I hate Invoker. Yeah. EMP so, owns. I mean, sometimes you just need MMR, you know? So. EMP owns me. Ice Wall owns me. Cold Snap owns me. GG. So you actually think Invoker matches up pretty well against yeah. Bristol? Yeah. It's very annoying for BB to go against a... Uh, Mana Drainer. Like, the hero is basically, like, useless if you don't have mana. Right. Okay, well, we'll see if it gets to that point. Definitely a different st strategy here from Planet Odd, as the teams have entered the field of battle. You see Zai dropping down the early ward, playing the role of the Kunkka, but Odd are not going to let him do a whole lot more. They quickly will deward this, get a bit of gold for the Lycan early. So, how do you feel these lanes are going to go? Winter running the Enigma off lane for Universe. Uh, looks like a safe lane bristle for EG. I like the heroes, the composition, but uh, at the end of the day, you have only like a a bristle, like your true carry, physical hero. Puck is like kind of okay, not bad. And you're up against. It's not a, like a free bristle back game, you know. Invoker is really a hard counter to, in my opinion, against bristle back. You're gonna have to buy a BKB. To deal with it, so we'll have to see. The lanes definitely have to go very well for EG, and for now, if the Enigma wants to have a good lane, like they, uh, you need to want to block off the camps. Though, so so far the camps are not blocked off for, because basically when you play off lane Enigma, you deny you deny the range creep, and you want to make sure that the enemy can't pull, so they can't bring the creep back towards their tower. So that's one uh, my major concern right now for EG's Enigma pick here. They weren't really successful in blocking the camps. Sentry was uh, able to deward off uh, the Observer that Zai placed earlier. So we'll have to see how much uh, this Enigma can get from the lane. U Universe with a pretty ambitious uh, start here. Uh, and hopeful quick buy anyway. He's got the Midas BKB. Dude, and that's, that's really too. normal. Yeah. You look at most of the players, they're like, I'm going to have this this game, I'm going to get a Midas, I'm going I'm to have the blah, 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 blah. Everything is in a quick buy. You've got Sumail. He's like, I'll be happy with a Noltali in a bottle. <laughs> But Universe has bigger ambitions, at least for now. As bottom lane looks like we could potentially see a first blood. Misery joins the party. Moving on to crit. Moon already very low and will be punished. EG since the trap and now looking for the follow up on Misery. Misery's going to go uh... down to a quick double feed in the bottom lane. Great start for the bristle. That was quite questionable, to be honest, because it's a bristle back in the lane. Like, you, you don't go and do stuff like that to a bristle back at the start. And. Dark Seer Earth Spirit has been nerfed quite a bit since you know the time where teams have been always running it a lot because right now it's very difficult for Dark Seer to sustain the mana. Like if you do something like that and it fails, you, you won't have mana to stay. I mean they died, so it didn't matter in the end. Like usually what you see teams doing right now is the Dark Seer starts in the jungle, he goes to the lane later. So this is really uh, something very uncommon that they chose to contest the lane at level one, and it's not a weak lane, Mr. Goldman. It's not a weak lane. Bristleback CM and Conquer is not weak. Certainly not. And Misery now giving up on that lane. He's going to yep. head towards mid, try to help yes, deal with Sumail. He has no choice anymore. He, he but Sumail really is off to a great start in this mid lane. Already 10-6 and six to the 3-3 three and three of Weeha. Yeah, Puck beats Invoker, but um, <laughs> this is pretty... apparently beats the Earth Spirit too. <laughs> this is pretty substantial. Yeah, Puck is very strong at the early levels because of all the damage buffs that he's been getting. 
And it does have the help of that CMR uh, as well, so you can just spam. Phase shift, no mana, and uh, like all his spells are quite cheap, so very strong in the lane. And he has two now talismans right now, so he's by far being really dominant in his laning phase. I guess the good news for Weeha is maybe gets a little help from the Lycan later, but not for now, yeah. is taking the early points in Feral Impulse. I mean, both uh, safe lanes, I would say, a Lycan safe lane and a Bristolback safe lane has a lot of uh, similarities. There are safe lanes that are really hard to pressure because Lycan has the the passive, a lot of regen, very difficult to push him out of the lane. Sure, you can get a lot of farm, maybe, but you can't really stop the Lycan from farming in most cases. I'm not sure if they're going to stay with this winter, but they're showing a, a Midas and Resolution as well. Uh, typically, we see like that Armlet Mask of Madness build right now. Uh, how do you feel about Odd going for double Midas, potentially playing very greedy here? Do you think that matches up well against what EG is trying to do? I mean, right now, Lycan has a feeling. So I'm looking at, from his perspective, he's get, he gets a feeling. Enigma's not really contesting him, so he's getting he wants to get a Midas. Usually when you get a feeling, the immediate item you think about is a Midas to gain as much as you can. Because if you get the Midas so early that it doesn't really slow you down. Like, that's the biggest concern when you get a Midas. How much does it slow you down? How much it will affect my team? But if you can get it so early that it actually doesn't really matter. Resolution. It'll be interesting to see if he actually ends up committing to this. As the pressure is on the mid lane, looks like Weeha gonna get caught out. Good rotation by Zai. Once again, as the Kanka making yep. plays on this roaming four position. He's been very consistent in that regard throughout the tournament. Must have been a smoke, right? I wasn't <laughs> paying attention because there was a what? I believe so. Well, now the nice boulder smash on Arteezy. Sunstrike. Oh, I'll just slightly off the mark. But oh, the neutral gosh, creep takes oh. him down. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, there's, there's a chat wheel for every occasion for Moon. <laughs> Every time he's killed Arteezy this entire this series, is, it's been a, a all baby your rage. Fault. This is all your fault. It's my fault. Yeah. Why? If you never said wow, then this would have never happened. Oh, there would be some other stupid line. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, let's be serious here. Uh, fine. I apologize. <laughs> I've ruined Dota. It's totally not Valve. <laughs> uh, back to the game. <laughs> You know, they don't have to let the observers hear the sound effects. No, no tell was telling me, he's like, yeah, I'm just going to keep on spamming them until Valve takes it out of the game. But, uh, Valve has not been hearing his plea. Maybe I'll thinking it's actually Sumail? they should continue. Sumail is going for more. a solo kill, ah, but no we detection. We have just Ghostwalks. Has that early point in Wax. But that's actually quite uh, quite big as well, because it costs a lot of mana. A lot of mana. And it really ruins the laning phase for the Invoker. He does have a strike, but right now they're pre he's pressuring the tower heavily. Siege creep incoming. Okay, this is this is really bad for him if the creep is going to hit the tower a lot. EG are farming so well right now in the meanwhile. 30 CS on all three of their cores though. They're armor trying to make a move here onto Sumail. They're going to hit him with that initial initial boulder smash. Soxa does have the level 2 glimpse. Would be a big kill. Sun strike down on the river. They glimpse him back. They roll forward a bit. Discombobulated, but it's enough for Odd to get the kill. Crit meanwhile in pretty deep. That's a squishy CM. Has to be careful. And we'll make it back to safety, yep. so they get the puck takedown, look, much look, needed. Look at how crucial was that moment, like both teams understood. Oh, x Uh probably uh, not going to be able to get a kill. Nothing right? else yeah. there, no. But both teams sending supports towards the mid lane at the 5 minute mark when the siege creep spawns. Like, both teams understand if that creep hits the tower too much and you get a kill at that point, tower's going to die. <laughs> That's basically how the meta shape is shaped right now, it's so important. So Resolution is about to complete his Midas and oh, They make the pressure happen on mid. On the Weeha, they will go, and this time they come prepared. <laughs> and we'll bring him down. Their sentry system. Yes. So EG, big kill for them. Still, the Lycan Midas comes online now. They got the kill on Sumail, but the gold discrepancy for EG is starting to stack up. Already a 2k gold lead. Yep, Enigma is minutes in. farming very well. Like, it's an Enigma, so can't really stop him from jungling and whatnot. So overall, all three cores happy. Socks are gonna wander into the Enigma's territory, places down a ward, wants to scout him out. I mean, same goes for CM. Oh, he might be Speaking in trouble. Speaking of CM, has some backup here. Sumail comes in, Moon's gonna instantly look to... Actually, didn't quite break oh. the coil. The Torrent catches him mid-TP. He'll end up going down. Meanwhile, on the top lane, additional action breaking out as they charge on the universe. Not level 6 just yet. The Wolf will munch him. Yep, Siege Creep Wave as well. They want to protect the creep. And with a Lycan. They want to protect the creep. 
This <laughs> tower is in a lot of trouble if that catapult doesn't die. Yeah. I can see Rezo tanking it for now. So Let's both teams forced. once again making very, very like mirror movements, similar movements, going towards the enemy jungle, trying to place the defense. Oh, universe gets oh, clips there. Oh, that is oh. huge. Mid lane. Still the tower being pressured in the meanwhile, and again a, another invoker takedown while this is all happening. Not able to prevent Universe from getting into the lane in the end. He only got sent back to like the tier oh, two. Oh, he tower. TP'd to the tier two. Yeah, oh. yeah. Looks like he would be sent back to the fountain. I didn't, I didn't notice. I thought he but was. But Universe, <laughs> uh, there's a reason why this is the most successful player ever in Dota two. He is certainly showing that. Oh, here. good, good read as well by EG, knowing that there might be a ward down after that move when you die in that area. It's a good read there by Crit. And right now, looking at the general state of things, so they were able to in the end defend their tier one at uh, the off lane. Uh, so, they, they will be quite happy about that, not losing the tower there. So, and Lighten's Midas is starting to pay off. Oh, right fast Veil pick up on Sumail. He is going to miss the silence though. Misery actually dodging both spells there and then rolling back in onto Sumail. Maybe a bit over eager, oh, perhaps expecting this backup from Soxa. It is coming in now. He dodges again the orb. Sumail getting his pants juked off. Oh, if fairy dragons wear them anyway. Win lace, dude. Win lace saving lives. Misery having a pretty big impact on their spirit in both games now. And staying alive there also means that Sumail will be forced back, has to debut that veil. Meanwhile, Universe pressuring Rezo a bit more in the top lane. So getting more confident that he can march up. And he will be going for Midas of his own. It's good old Midas gaming. Used to be all the rage in North America. When you have one Midas, you don't punish that. Uh, when the enemy buys one Midas, you don't punish him, but you get two Midas. Yeah. <laughs> Double Midas is the counter to single Midas. I remember the good old times. And it was popularized by none other than Mr. Misery. You know? but he was the one who started Midas the, the on, crystal support, maiden, on support. The Crystal Maiden Midas. Yeah. Way back when? When he was on LGD. Yeah, LGD. Mm. Top lane right now. EG converging. They want to use for a resolution. They want to use a black hole very badly. And the torrent, gonna miss. They kind of reveal this thing as well. TP in comes, and now a roll forward. A confident play by Misery. Does have the Iron Shell. I don't know that they want to commit too hard on Desai, though. And Sumail looks to get involved. He does have a ward here up the hill. Yep. Scouting Soxa. Soxa. I mean, so, six, though. so far, EG has much better vision, so they were able to understand how much they can get from the movements that they are doing right now. And... Yeah, just better vision, like three wards around the mid area, the bottom lane. Full intel about what's going on right now. They are more or less like ready to fight. Uh, when the Bristol back has his vanguard, okay, he, has, he already has his vanguard, so more or less the BB is ready to do whatever he wants. But he's gonna clear the stack and Puck not yet uh, acquiring his dagger. It's gonna take a while because he went for the veil first, so. EG more or less pretty content in farming for now, but Lycan wants to push towers. He's not content in farming. Look at this, Soxa actually skipped his ult on Disruptor for now. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? That's pretty unusual. Have you uh, seen that before? No, it's definitely like a misclick. <laughs> I think if Sumail knew that, he might be like diving him for a kill right now. Oh, there's the glimpse, but with the Veil you've got some good burst. Oh, we'll see if it gets punished. The Soxa has been given a free lane, and indeed, Zai looks to spring yeah, that trap. They even have a ward behind, so they know oh, he's alone. Soxa, it's hard to be sneaky when you're as tall as he is. But it seems sneaky enough for now. They do have the ward. But Zai they just can want set up. They have objective. the X as Mr. Well. Goblin, objective. Weeha coming in, still working on his own Midas. They drag the creeps back, but they don't deal with that wayward catapult. Who stays stubbornly determined to take this tower down. And EG yep. will grab it. So tier one finally falling, which is huge for EG, the other team that wants to be doing stuff right now. They are much stronger. They got better lanes, so they want to be putting the pressure on towards Planet Odd, which want to farm with their Midas. They're gonna have two Midas. Invoker's gonna have his. So I mean, it's a 5k gold lane winter already. Does it get easier for Odd? Is is Midas gaming a viable strategy in this game? Are you, are you buying it right now? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but this game, it seems like not paying off for... I mean, Lycan has very high net worth because of that, but it might have affected his timing a little, so he couldn't help his team as... I don't know, I think his pilots were actually fine, though. He was just 
The other lane's not going too well. I think I, I would fought the first move, bottom lane, where they gave up two kills, the Dark Seer plus Earl Spirit at level one. I would actually fought that more. Meanwhile, EG, not interested in playing too greedily. They did get the Enigma Midas, but otherwise you see Sumail with the early veil, the drums on the Konka. Pressure from them as Arteezy looks to continue that pressure. Oh, top Chasing lane. Misery. Moon has arrived yeah. to assist. Vanguard online, though, and Crit looking to cut Misery off. Goes for the TP. Gets the vision. Oh, oh no vision. didn't have the Frostbite. Nice job juking the trees. I, I don't think he actually had... Uh, he did not. It yeah, looks like he should have, but just uh, slightly the tree was blocking the way. So right now, because of the double Midas, they have to be doing a lot more farming. And I mean, in general, Invoker as a hero is a slow hero, and he had a bad lane. He, he got owned in the lane. So this Invoker is going to be a non-factor for quite some time, apart from dropping Sun Strikes. And this is EG's time right now. They're going to be able to... behind the Bristol. Yeah, could be behind the Bristol, Force towers. towers. Puck has Dagger. They're just like, okay. They can take whatever fight they want right now. And Crit is buying wars, and, by and, the way. <laughs> no no Midas early for him. Of course, if he's getting Midas again, you know... I think Coach Fear might uh, take issue with that. I know you certainly would. I would always tell... Okay, never mind. Might be a fight. I always tell the person... Now Blinken, so now with the initiation, <laughs> will find Soxa takes him down, still level 6, still does not have the Static Storm though. In that particular case, I'm not sure what it matters. The boat crashes in, a second kill is collected. Odd losing both supports, and EG, straight onto the tower they go. I would always tell the person, it's what you're doing, the best interest of the team. That's what you do. Mm. You look at... You make them evaluate it themselves. Yeah, you look at Gorman and you ask him, Battle for you is good for you, but is it good for the team? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how much time and, you can and, buy me Winter. And he spends 10 seconds looking at you. And then buys it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it'll make me feel good. Actually, that's more OD Pixel than you. Mm. OD Pixel then. Okay. He is a great player. Okay, clip. I'm not buying Battle Fury, but I'm buying Midas. <laughs> yeah, ben, when Ben is all, when Merlini is all capsing, buy wards <laughs> to support Odi Pixel, you know that he really doesn't like to. Arteezy does get completely caught out here, though. A big takedown for Planet who uh, return kills. Any return reveals kills? Reveals some follow up heroes, and now charging in resolution as the Iron Shell has the Echo Saber. And making some heavy damage happen, though, he will get pulled back in. The waiting arms of the boat are there. There's a black hole ready. Can they hold him in position long enough to get this kill? Looks like they will. Resolution <gasps> down and looking for more. A fish from Zai. Static Storm is finally ready. It's a beauty at that. Sucks a better late than never. He gets it off, and now Crit looks to turn oh the ties with God. his own ult, but does get interrupted. Might end up going down near the Iron Shell. The coil comes through, and Sumail looks for the follow up damage. On the moon he goes. They make it a three for three exchange. Honestly, Planet Odd, pretty scrappy showing. The big thing there, Universe never found an opening for that black hole. Team fight against team fight. That was as even as it can get, go. But EG didn't expand the black hole, like you mentioned, so they still have that tool in their arsenal. And yep. Universe is really, really close to his BKB. Oh my gosh, he's actually quite farmed. He's farmed. Meanwhile, Sumail topping the net worth charts and doing so without a Midas. Already well on his way to a Yules. You just need that level 25 for 20 go, dude. At some point. You're gonna be fat. Yeah. Oh, I... The concern how well Sumail's been playing the puck, he'll get there quickly. But right now, EG is definitely very, very strong uh, with their lineup. They want to push the tempo, and, Winter. And Lycan... Oh, on the actually, smoke already. They have the black hole, resolution, no ultimate available at the moment. It's a, bit, uh, it's a bit risky though, this move, because Enigma is very close to his BKB, and generally when you're really close to that one crucial item, <laughs> you're not going to want to join oh, your moon. team. Moon, that's a wave too far, my friend. Surging Observe in, the certain doom. X is there, torn for the follow-up, does get off the back. A futile effort in the end, and EG will collect their bounty. Look at that, Larry David. That's why you buy wards and you place it in enemy territory. Easy kill. Don't buy Dota that. 101. <laughs> Winter, I feel like I'm learning so much today. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Sumail does find an opening on Misery. Looks like he should be able to combo the Air Spirit down. Decent effort to stay alive, but not enough in the end. Can they get Roche now? Um, do they have a Medallion? Does Bristolback have a Medallion? No. Oh, actually, actually it has enough, almost enough for a Medallion. Arteezy's just quietly been farming all this game, and EG 
looking to take over the enemy jungle I mean, now. That's your next objective. Uh, the rush. You're taking over the enemy jungle, but you still want to get the rush on the BB. They want Zai. They're not going to find him yet. Dropping the Thunderdome, Soxida oh. walks right into the torrent, the boat. See you later. Drowning I mean, him in the I mean, room. as you can see, Planet Odd are really not in any shape of fighting right now because the Invoker is very far behind from the laning phase. But they keep on getting sucked into these fights by EG. The Deep Wards, the Conquer Pickoffs. That's yeah, mo mostly more of the Wards. And it's very difficult because uh, Conquer, like you mentioned, the X-Monks, if, if you just show your face a little bit too far up, you get caught out. And bottom lane, Sumail. Got silence, stun. Oh, have they laid a nice little trap for him? He's pretty tanky though, Sumail. Fairly high level, but Soxa <gasps> getting enraged with the static storm. No, Sumail making it out the soul oh. strike. Gonna find him. He face shifts again, dodges the Yules. boulder smash. Can he escape the back? Face shift. Timed well. Face shift. Does he make it? He's still trying. Uh, this fairy dragon blinking to the south. Orbit as well, but they got the fish Face shift. Isn't it enough? <laughs> TP. Sumail, come on. You gotta be kidding me. They still can't. Can't cage the dragon. He lives. The boy lives again. <laughs> oh dear, that hurts. We was like, man, I hit the crit prediction sun strike, and it's still not enough. So you went from Lord of the Rings to Harry Potter. Yeah. What, what is, is there a good movie that I should have thrown in there? Wonder what have you been watching Wonder lately, Winter? Woman. Little Gossip Girls. One Day Woman. I liked that movie. It was quite good. Oh, RTZ. That's why you don't want to go against the Invoker. <laughs> Mana burn. But he's going to have his uh, Solar Crest he's now. He's fine. He's got Soul Ring. He, he's going to have his Solar Crest. So Roshan is in the cards right now for them. Universe working towards his Dagger. Those are the two things you need as an Enigma this game. Dagger, BKB. Once you have that, very difficult to lose any team fights and all making a move they do not want to re reach that point dagger bkb on enigma but right. they're running into a bristle back oh uh, he, he's, he's, he's playing like the boss now three hits make it four socks is down already they will back universe back into the static storm but they need the follow damage and he's already got the bkb special just charges forward looking for weha the hole is still available universe blocking the path just zoning tactics from him the invoker has to turn tail and run oh they do not have a and dust. he still holds on to that black hole Jeez, they don't have the dust or sentry. All right, but they're gonna get the rush, easy rush, solar crest plus nasal goo. It's all firing on, firing on all cylinders here for EG. Rush will fall. Mm -hmm. You got to imagine the high ground siege commences pretty soon, or mm. perhaps that bottom lane first. Uh, still two towers available. Uh, let's see. They're waiting on any. Items, I uh, conquer, conquer, conquer. No mech, actually. Sumail's hunting, meanwhile, towards the south. He almost gets hit by the boulder smash here. This is going to set up for Sox. It doesn't have Disruption? the static storm, though. Uh, and if they couldn't catch Sumail before in a 4v1, I'm pretty sure they don't catch him now. They glimpse him away. Universe joining the fray and has the hole ready, if necessary. Veil deployed. The wolves land what little assistance they can, but it's in our spirit down. Sumail is too tough to wrangle. Bro, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait for the first black hole. <laughs> they are leading by so much without even using and, one. Black and now hole. they have a blink, so that is about to change. <sighs> so they basically have uh, almost every. Yeah, they actually have uh, everything they want right now. Maybe they might wait for. Actually, no. There's nothing much they need to wait for. Yeah, they have all the core items. They're gonna be ready to push. They have all the cooldowns. Yep. They have the siege engine between the oh, Enigma. But crit, crit. They look for the crit pick off here as he runs up the hill directly into enemy territory, but EG come in numbers for the defense. Boat crashes in, connects beautifully, and takes Weeha down with the Meanwhile, Sumail waiting out the static storm and out chasing for Moon, who finds himself in trouble. Isolated from his team universe, still holding that black hole BKB combination. Doesn't need it. A two for one, it's a CM sacrificed on the altar for an invoker and an earth spirit. Nice little pick up there for EG, and again, still holding the black hole winter, they can just keep on pushing. That would have been nice if the Conquer have a mech there. He actually went for drums this game. Like, usually you see. I mean, this kind of lineups, you want to have someone to actually build the mech, but since Universe is going for the, the BKB, make sure you get your ulti built, dagger BKB minus. 
would have been nice to see someone else got on the map, but right now EG in full control still in this game. Already looking to break the base, a real shift in approach from what we saw in game number two. Wasting no time in forcing the issue, oh. not going to let Planet they on have farm. have to hold a defense here. As we see Soxa getting hounded by Crit, trying to make it back towards the base. The Wolf comes in and Universe finally arrives with a black hole in the mid lane while simultaneously a team fight breaking out in the dire base. Arteezy though, getting punished as the Bristleback oh, will end up dying once. Resolution withstood that black hole, actually got the kill, and now they kill off the Bristleback once. Can they kill him a second time? Rezo though has lost his ult. That's the real question. It's going to be tough to deal with Arteezy on round two, but they buy back. They try to seize the initiative here. Arteezy, it's a Bristol. Boulder, our Boulder Smash is going to push him back and oh, into enemy territory, no. but he just stands his ground. Sumail also getting pu pushed around a little bit, but already godlike and looking for more. Arteezy healthy. The Wolf is not at your door. In fact, it's the Armadillo that reigns supreme here. He's oh the ultimate. It's Bristol back. It's just beast. Yeah, it's just too tanky. They can't deal with them. They're going to try. Perhaps they can kite him into submission. They drop the Ice Wall. And they throw out the EMP, but both a swing and a miss. So Arteezy just keeps on trucking. Takes down the melee racks, looks for the range. Moon gets to work. They have the cold snap. They have a lot of chip damage here, a lot of stalling tactics. But meanwhile, Sumail has a Dagon coming soon. So the taser shenanigans can begin. This is just... They can't kill the Bristle twice. You can hit me, but I am Bristleback. I don't care. And he's going to have a Hellbutt next. And this Lycan is going to be... Uh... Okay. A sad wolf. He does not have BKB. So this is gonna be a huge problem for him. Like even if he has BKB, the double evasion is still gonna be very, very hard to deal with for the Lycan. Yeah, this is this is bad. Oh he has, he's actually going for the AC instead. He wants to just end the game. He doesn't feel like he needs the Halbert. And then there was Sumail. Just jumps in on the mid lane Gosh. and decapitates not a support hero, but we are. All, all the recent games, Sumail against Riha have It's all, just not even close. Have all been resulted in, in Sumail just dumpstering Riha. Yeah, absolutely the case as of yet. Misery rolling in, but now puts himself in harm's way. Gets completely locked down by the Malefice, and Sumail completes the kill. Misery down, and now looking for the Lycan to foil on cooldown, but still has that taser. They're going to X him back. Looking for pickoff. Soxa could be in danger as Arteezy just dives him to the Tier 4 Towers. He has no fear, this man rampaging through the back lines. Might drop low, but unlikely to be finished off. They will glimpse it back and commit so much. Do they even get the kill of the Glimmer Cave? That doesn't seem like they have the damage. No, he's gonna live. He turned the fight, and now the black hole. Round two. They GG, but they won't make it out before EG get their last licks in. They take down all five, and they will take the series two to one. Mr. Gorman, do you know what's a Bristol back now? Good hero. <laughs>